Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to look at this charming Russian telescope. This is a Lomo Estelle 102MN, which is a Maksutov Newtonian. This kind of telescope is particularly suited to looking at wide field objects like the Andromeda Galaxy, M42, the Orion Nebula, uh, open clusters, uh, the Pleiades, things like that are beautiful in this kind of telescope because you have uh, with a modest eyepiece, 25 millimeter uh, eyepiece, you have very low powers, very wide fields, plus, uh, plus plenty of aperture. Um, so this Lomo Estelle is a wonderful telescope with some very quirky and interesting features that I just love, in, this, in addition to the extremely robust, robust uh, Russian build quality of the telescope. Let me give you a let me give you a look at this telescope. First of all, it's mounted on a, a Celestron CG4, which is a perfect mount for this telescope. Small little German equatorial mount, uh, and it's just superb on this mounting. Let me remove the dew shield so you can see what it looks like underneath there. Now you can see something very strange about this telescope. See this gizmo here? That's the finder. Let me give you a close-up and show you how that works. Okay, this is one of the most interesting things about this telescope. And honestly, it's probably the main reason I bought it. I love something quirky and unusual. This thing has a finder in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of the optics. So here's your finder. And the way you operate the finder is, uh, you're looking through the eyepiece here, and you focus and so forth, well, etc. Now you can switch from finder over to the main telescope by turning this. And it's got some detents in there, so you can feel it lock in, and it works quite well. It's a little bit disconcerting to me, especially with the dew shield, you have to reach in there and grab this thing and twist it around. It's actually preferable to leave the dew shield off for that circumstance. But I am just changing from the finder to the main telescope every time I turn this. And I, I can feel the detent. I'm sure you can't detect it. Anyway, it's a, a very, very interesting, quirky, kind of strange uh, way to do things. And the optics on this scope are very good. But look at the central obstruction. That's a huge central obstruction. So it's, uh, that has got to, it, it's going to affect the optical quality of the scope. This is extremely well made. The optics here are superb, but it does have a large central obstruction and that's going to affect things. The telescope also has a removable cover on the back. This is supposed to be able to this will allow your mirror to cool off a little bit faster. And there's your collimation screws and all that. Let me turn this around so you can see it. That's actually the back of the mirror right there. And these are all collimation bolts. Here's something interesting about this scope. This is the original dovetail that came with the scope. It was mounted right on here. And I, as you can see, or maybe you can't tell, but I replaced it with a Vixen dovetail. The reason is, although this looks a lot like a Vixen dovetail, it's very, very similar. But if you look at the profile, it's just different enough. It's a little bit wider and the angle's a little different and so forth. It's just different enough that this won't go on to a Vixen adapter. Uh, it comes with its own adapter right here. Very nice. Everything's extremely well built. And it's very nice. Actually, in some respects, better than a Vixen. But by the same token, it's not very interchangeable that way. So I went ahead and just made, an, uh, you know, m fit this Vixen adapter to these rings. It can easily be uh, changed back if I want to. But the, the Vixen dovetail makes it much more convenient. Here's another interesting and somewhat unusual feature of this scope. You can rotate focuser, but also, you can put the focuser wherever you want. You can just simply remove the focuser if you want to. And I suppose you, I'm not sure if they, they made other focusers for this. It's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a camera adapter that would screw right on here. Uh, I don't know what that thread is, 
but I'm sure that you could probably figure out a way to adapt a camera to that very nicely. You'd probably make a, a superb astrograph. These make, you know, a, a Maxutov Newtonian is a really good wide field astrograph. Very good flat field, almost as good as a, a Ritchie in, in, the, in those terms. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of this Lomo Estelle 102 MN telescope. Thank you very much for watching.